I go. Amen. Okay, so about the mimosa plants, as I was saying, uh, those that were in the caves, uh, that were hiding in caves, grew some of these plants at a strategically placed positions around their caves. So these plants in there inform their decision whether it's safer to come out or not. Whenever they want to come out, the leader of the group will peep through the tiny holes around the caves to see whether the plant is open everywhere. Mm. So if the plant is open everywhere, then it's safe. You can come out and do whatever you feel like doing. But when the plant is closed, it can even be an, a movement of an animal, but nobody wants to take that risk, so they don't come out. So this plant called the mimosa plant saved a lot of our brothers and sisters during the era of the trade. I have changed the name from mimosa to destiny plant because this plant is following us wherever we go as Africans. Every part of the Caribbean has some of these plants. In the US of a, North and South Carolina, Florida, Chicago, Michigan, uh, Texas, a whole lot of places in the US of a have these plants as well. So I always tell my brothers and sisters that whenever you see these plants, it's only one thing. Your ancestors are giving you traces and they are telling you where you're coming from. So when you see this, it's like, this is you, this is where you belong, and it's now time for you to come back to your roots. Now we're going to make a journey through a sacred path, which was developed by our ancestors called the ancestral roots. Straight. Most often at times, whenever we're going through that stretch, we do so with our shoes off. Why do we take our shoes off? I will tell you why. For me, Kofi, I don't know about you, so I'll talk for myself. With the dreams and revelations that I've had ever since working here, I have come to appreciate our ancestors really, really, really well. Our ancestors were not the selfish type. If they were, through all the pain that they endured and the torture, they could have taken their lives. And if they did, where would you be? It is at the back of our ancestors that we are alive today. We don't even deserve to walk on the same path that they did because we have shown a lot of disrespect to them. But because we are their children, we just tell them, just give us the opportunity to walk on the same path that you did. So that tomorrow when I see my brother or my sister, I'm going to tell him or her how privileged it was walking on the path that they did. The second reason is a covenant you are here to fulfill. You never came in here because you've made some dollars. No. It's wrong. Clean, clean that mentality off. You came in here because it is already defined in your books of your destiny mm -hmm. that you have to come here today. So, you need to fulfill a covenant that you have to fulfill with this land. The land you're working on is your land. But just because of circumstances, <coughs> that is why we're not together. Today, destiny has brought you back to your roots. And the land needs to know you by who you are and your real name. So by walking barefooted, the soil of the ground will rub under your feet. And you have this encounter and connection with your ancestors. So whilst you're walking, assuming I'm one of your ancestors in the spirit looking at you, and mom, you're making this journey to me, I'll just go to one and say, Assuming you are also one of my ancestors in the spirit realms and she is passing, I will say, wow, is she not the great, great granddaughter of Ya Esikuma? Is she not the great son of Kobi in Kansan? So it's like our ancestors will be so much excited just to see us coming, just to see us appreciating them because they know that at least where they left the battle, we are also carrying on with that. The third one is just an experience. The fourth, most of our brothers and sisters were buried at the Bamboo Cemetery. 
which will be going there. Right now in the spirit, I don't even know what they are doing now. Maybe they are meeting, maybe they are asleep, maybe they are in, I don't know. But when we are able to walk barefoot, we alert them of our coming. So before we get there, they've all gathered. And our gardens, garden angels are present. And all that we brought on board, we're going to have it solved. So those are some of the reasons why we go through this journey with our shoes off. For me, Kofi, with the blessing that I get, I always prefer going in there with my shoes off. This is even my Christmas socks, but I'll take it off and make the journey to the river. It is not binding. You can go with your shoes off if you want to. When you take your shoes off also, it is very safe in there. You don't need to stress yourself and bother yourself with anything. Right, perfect family, it's optional and um, be wary that it's a uh, rough, rough terrain and we're light on medical supply. I do have you know, um, a few things up there, but uh, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, family. Advance at your own risk. And be so, wary. please, when we cross that and making the journey, I want it to be total silent. It should be for yourself and yourself alone. Try to meditate, try to reflect, and all what you need to say is just tell them you thank them for their rule in our lives as Africans.